I was about to meet the last and by far the richest teenager on my journey. This girl's family is worth $3 billion, but you'd never guess. And is this all Prada and Gucci and... Actually, is actually is Top Chop. Oh, really? I was on the trail of the world's richest teenager. And I was in Bangkok, Thailand, home to 95% of the country's millionaires. I'm on my way to meet a hysterically rich young woman whose family are worth $3 billion, which in my book is quite a lot of money. And uh, it's as good as it gets almost in terms of rich teenagers. <laughs> this is Per Chiratuat. And like her Western counterpart, Paris Hilton, she's the it girl daughter of a massive hotel-owning family empire. Although she's still at school, she's already released this single and works as a part-time model. I'd arranged to meet her at a photo shoot she was doing for a society magazine. So I'm at the Bangkok branch of the Met Bar, which is a very swanky chain of bars, and uh, it's very glam here. Um, Pear is basically here because she's been invited by Tatla, Thailand, to have a photograph taken with another rich teenager, a young man who's similarly privileged. Her family are worth six times more than the Queen and 50 times more than Lacey's father, Marty. She lives at the top of a five-star, 55-storey hotel, which her family own. The Chiratawa fortune was built up from nothing by Pear's Chinese immigrant great-grandfather and has grown over the last 60 years. Their business empire now stretches all round the city and employs almost every member of the Chiratawa clan. So what's this building here, The Pear? CPN. Mm. It's a central role office building. So this office building is owned by you as well? Yeah, my family. Your family? Yeah. So we're in an incredibly tall hotel, 55 storeys high, looking down on another skyscraper, <laughs> which is also one of your family's buildings. So this building is a um, department store. So we've got another building that's also in the family yeah, as well? Yeah, the, the lower Of course, one. The, the big building next door, right? Yep. How many buildings like this are in the family? Around Bangkok, 10. 10 in total? I'm not sure. All right, something Maybe like more. 10. Yeah. Maybe more. Pear's family was stupendously rich. In fact, rumour has it they have their eye on the Ritz. But then she revealed something rather surprising. You can see from here, there, over there is my school. Oh, yes, OK. Do you, do you own that as well? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's owned by the government. So you're not at a private school? No, pri right? private. Oh, no, I mean public school. OK, you're at the state school? Yes, state school. It was the first clue there was something a bit different about this heiress. Yes. So is this your fitness centre as well? Yeah, I, I can use. And if it's really busy in here, can you say, get that guy off there, I'm ready for a run? No, because he is a guest of a hotel, we have to serve the customers first. Do you ever do that? Do you ever say, by the way, this is, you know, this is mine? No. I just like act normal, like normal people. You're obviously a much more modest person than I am, because <laughs> if I was in your situation, I'd have a T-shirt made which said, I own this hotel, oh. and I would just basically wear it every day. No, and no. If people weren't <laughs> sure, I would just kind of... I see. Well, um, in Thailand, you know, like, it's kind of weird if you're doing this, so lots of people will don't like you if if you're acting like this. Yeah. They will against you. Oh. Are you saying that being being ostentatious, bling bling, is not, yeah, not a good thing? Not a good thing. It was time to meet the family. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. <laughs> home is an apartment on the 53rd floor where she lives with her parents and her younger brother and sister. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, and what's your name? Hi. <laughs> I've just noticed a difference, which I think says it all, which is our shoes, because uh, we've got a pair of Jimmy shoes here. <laughs> and then these old things, no particular brand. No, it's, this is my mother's. Your mother. mum's? Your, yeah, your, same you, size. You, that, how lucky same, is that? Yes. Uh, Clothes size and shoe size. This is lucky for you and very unlucky for mum. No, that's it's good for me. I can save the money. You go and get yourself yeah. some Jimmy Choo's yeah. and you're thinking it's half price because my daughter right, will wear them. Right. And is this all Prada and Gucci and... Actually, it's actually is Top Chop. Oh, really? Yeah. Top Chop. Oh, really? Yeah. Top Chop. Oh, really? Yeah. Top Chop. Oh, really? Yeah
actually is actually is Top Chop. Oh really? Oh my goodness. It's my fa favorite brand. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> actually, it's not just her favorite brand. She owns it, or at least her family own the Thai franchise. But although Pear's massive wealth has been in the family for two generations, you'd be hard pressed to see any signs of it. Her parents just wouldn't allow it. Is it difficult to give your children the opportunities that the family wealth brings without spoiling them? Mm, no, because like uh, when we travel, for example, I make sure that they travel in economy class, like me, when I was young. My parents always let me travel in economy class. I'm categorically shocked at how normal and unassuming Pear is. I mean, she absolutely doesn't stand out in this environment of, of the hotel. You know, there isn't a sense of, oh, there she is, there's the hotelier's daughter, she's worth millions. You know, there's all this money, there's this vast wealth within the family, but the way they live is, is comparatively modest, and it's, you know, on a huge scale, a version of living above the shop. We were off to go shopping at one of Bangkok's premier department stores. When we arrive, it turns out that, of course, the family owned that too. But surprisingly, Pear still has to part with cash like any other paying customer. They like to keep their money in the family. We have to shop in our own department store. So you don't want to give rivals your money, do you? No. This is it. At the moment, Pear's got her eye on a sewing machine. Which model? Which one do we like? Oh, it's on sale. I saw that half price. What do you think of the price? Is this a reasonable price or? I don't know, maybe I have to set saving up more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Astonishingly, Pear's allowance is just three pounds a day. And if it doesn't stretch to what she wants, she has to wait till she can afford it but I had an idea. Can we put one aside? It's just she's got to save up and she hasn't got much cash. <laughs> I almost had to pinch myself. Pear's the richest teenager I'd met and one of the richest in the world, but her well-trained modesty was astounding. Do you think your parents have managed to give you the benefits of, of having wealth, um, but at the same time not spoiling you? Yeah, I think. Mm. I think so. They put a frame around me, mm. but they say, like, you can do whatever in that frame, sure. but not just going out into the bad side. But was the frame designed to protect her or restrict her? And what was expected of her in the future? Next evening, Pear was making a guest appearance at a pop festival, accompanied by mum and dad. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Break a leg. <laughs> Pear is privileged. While other teenage girls have to make do with a hairbrush in front of the mirror, she gets to sing in front of a real live audience, for now. Ultimately, though, it's presumed she will knuckle down and join the family firm. But what if she chooses her own way? What would happen if, if she just said, you know, Dad, I just I want a nice, simple job. I just want to make cappuccinos in one of the cafes. Mm -hmm. That's all I want. I just want to make lattes all day. Uh, well, that's... We have, in that case, I have to talk to her that this is, this is not the way, you know, uh, uh, that's, that's wrong thinking. You know, it's, it's worse because we, 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 we put enough effort, you know, we, we feel that she has more potential than doing what she's, let's say, if she wants to do that, you know, we have to, we have to tell her this is the, the, the wrong um, um, thinking. <laughs> Of all the teenagers I met, Pear seems to have drawn the shortest straw, with all of the responsibilities and expectations, but none of the spending power. It seems that ultimately the richer the family, the greater the pressure on the children. In these worlds of the super-rich, money is not just for spending, it's about preserving family fortunes.